This is Mavis, and Mavis is a very good girl. She's in training to be an assistance dog, and she's about to see something she's never seen before. Generally, they're quite good, and they don't really quite know what's going on because they're quite unique, and you know, they move, especially with the giraffes, they move quite slowly, and they're quite tall, so they're just kind of a bit interested. Mavis is one of 17 young pups from charity Dogs for Good, based in Banbury. They'll go on to help adults and children with a range of disabilities. And days like this at the Cotswold Wildlife Park in Burford help prepare them for the next stage in their career. It's of great benefit. We can see what they're going to be like. And they're only teenagers at the moment, so they're still quite young, they're still learning. But we can, um, we can do utilise this and we can do their training here in real life rather than set up situations. Um, and as well, then we can better prepare both the dogs and also the clients. So then when they're matched with their client, we can inform them of what the dog's potentially going to be like when they visit attractions and when they go for days out. Whether it's something they might like to snack on, something which might like to snack on them, or even slightly suspicious looking rocks. It gets them used to all sorts of unusual sights. And the park lets them visit several times a year. Director Reggie Hayworth's father, John, founded the park, and he was a big dog lover, meaning man's best friend. He's always welcome to see the attractions too. Dog owners, almost without exception, are responsible and uh, we never have any problems with them. And it's a real priv privilege, really, to have uh, training dogs here as well. I mean, the, the difference that these dogs are making to people for whom it is such a lifeline uh, is I incredibly uh, important. One final trip to meet the penguins and their training session was over. There's just a month to go before they go to live with their new owner. And hopefully, after today... Scenes like this won't be quite so confusing. Charlotte Cross, ITV News at the Cotswold Wildlife Park.